Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just doing a simple, like my simple makeup routine because I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's my everyday makeup routine, but if I were to do makeup like with a little bit So like if I was to wear like I <laughs> if I was to wear like eyeshadow and like lipstick and all this stuff then this would probably be Woo! Okay. I'm going to Firstly, put up my hair. So, as I said, I don't wear like eyeshadow. Um, eyeshadow, what's it called? Concealer and all that every day. But this is how I do it when I do wear that kind of stuff. So the first thing I do is. I use this, obviously everyone has seen this much earlier because I use it so often. All of my videos, it's just this vitamin C one. Just put it straight on. I actually have some on from this morning, but straight on. And then I do some of the Mario Badescu rose water. Wow, refreshing. Okay. So typical, but refreshing. Then I like to use a bit of this, which Fresh Green Primer Base. I got it in Forever 21 that time. Blush that in. I do not consider myself a makeup guru or good at makeup because I don't really like to wear it that much. So, yes, you'd probably be like, what is she doing? But, you know, I kind of just go for it. Um, and after that is blended in, I use the... It's Crop, it's called. It's a Vitamin C Tinted Moisturizer looks like this I got it in TK Maxx back home ages ago and I love it I use about like that much which is enough and I actually only use my hands because it is moist like a moisturizer I can't pick up the mirror right now but straight in to my skin it actually just dissolves in and melts into the skin so quickly so you really do have to move fast clearly is what I'm doing Otherwise, it will be completely melted into your skin. It actually doesn't make that much of a difference in colour. But it kind of just gives a more, like, even out texture, which is good. So I just decided to zoom in a little because I'm going into more face-like makeup and stuff. So now I go in with some concealer, which is not my best friend. Don't like it. I think it's just the one from Penny's, to be honest. In the shade... I can't tell because, oh, it's on the top. Porcelain for my very white skin. So, nice and simple. I mean, everybody knows how to do concealer. I'm not trying to teach here because I'm not good at tutorials. I'm just showing you my. So, just straight under, make a bit of a V. And I'm just gonna go ahead and spray the beauty blender. Um, sometimes I use a brush, sometimes I use a beauty blender. It's kind of up to my preference. Then I have this Carter Beauty by Marissa Carter. It's just a translucent powder. I will use the Beauty Blender just to put this under my eyes for it to set a little. I'll blend this out just with a Instapop face brush by Real Techniques. Pretty simple. I'm not sure if this is what you're supposed to use for it, but I do it anyway. Then I do some bronzer before... Do I do my eyebrows? I actually couldn't tell you if I do my eyebrows or bronzer. I'm going to do my eyebrows first because I find it easier to tell if my face looks good when my eyebrows are done because I just feel like it never does when my eyebrows are not and I'm doing makeup. So this is whatever one my mom had because I saw it and I was like, I want to use this. It's a Lorac. Okay, that's a bit better just to zoom in. Give it a brush. Oh, as I'm saying, everybody does their eyebrows differently so it's just how I like to do them. Um, I don't like when they're too rounded. I like them to have the straight line and then the arch. So nice simple as per everyone does. I just do a start at a straight line. Then I go on top. Just obviously follow the natural line of my eyebrow. Um, using wax and a powder mix. Straight over, straight down. 
a little bit in the front. Okay, so I just finished both of them. I think they are fine. They have been better. As they say, sister's not a twin. Let's see. My okay, so as I was saying, I mainly only use Real Techniques brushes because I just personally think they're the best. And I just like them because they're not too expensive and like I don't do that extreme makeup so there's no need for me to have top of the notch but okay, maybe I should stay where it was because now lighting is going iffy okay so I moved back from where I did move because the sun was shining and it's not actually eyeshadow time it is bronzer time I need these elf one and these are the shades Usually I use this top corner, maybe some glitter, and maybe a bit of a darker one. So straight away I'm just going to go in with the lighter one. I use this brush that I've had my whole life. It has been the fluffiest and best brush. Um, it doesn't have the label anymore, so I can't tell you what it's called. I love bronzer. It's my favourite part of makeup. And I go in on my forehead. I think it's so necessary actually on camera this might seem really severe but in person it's actually not okay so that is that i'm gonna do some blush because i think blush is just amazing again this is just a real techniques cheek brush so this is right kind of brush and this mac blush now we're on to eyes so as i said most of my brushes are Real Techniques, this one is, this one I got somewhere, I can't remember. That's great, isn't it? But, <laughs> so as I said, I just do very simple eyeshadow. It's not the right technique, so please don't leave mean comments, because I know I'm not probably doing it right, but it's just how I like it to turn out. So I start with this simple lightest color and then I'll use this color second and then that color last probably. I kind of just go all over my eye with this one. I'm very simple with makeup. I don't do cut creases. Don't even barely know the difference between where to put which color but I think sometimes like does it really matter? <laughs> I mean yeah probably does but to me not so much. one that came with the eyeshadow with the trouble maker mascara so I just go in with this it's nice and simple I'm sure you all know how to put on mascara this one is a bit better but I must buy a new one of these because I love these so much I've been using this same mascara for years upon years well, obviously not the, same, not the same actual one, but... Okay, I didn't actually tell you what one this was. Let's say now. This is the Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara, which is, like, in my opinion, the best mascara out there. Then I do a bit of highlighter, which I nearly forgot. I'm going to use the stuff that's on the bed because so this is the same stuff that I used in my eyeshadow. And then, man, way too much my favorite things which is this Urban Decay Naked Illuminated it's just a highlighter I just kind of shrivel this all over my face so, so I'm going to start with this um, lip liner which is just pennies because that's all I use 
with the toffee one. I decided to focus. There we go. I'm just lining my lips. I'm not great at this, but. And I don't know if I want to use which one today. Let's go this one. It's the bear. Again, Penny's lipstick. Which is a very simple color. And I'm going to finish with some setting spray. Which is the Slay All Day setting spray. Which I also got in Forever 21 on sale for a dollar. And... Go like that. Take down the hair. Real beauty moment. This is the final look. Pretty simple in my eyes. Lipstick. Go into more light. Okay, this is really zoomed in, but this is it with glasses. I mean, I actually don't even know if it looks good because I didn't have my glasses on. But I think it's pretty good. So I was actually just ending the vlog yesterday and my camera completely died. So it is the next day. I'm just finished editing and I'm uploading it but I would like to say thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it I know it was a bit not the best makeup kind of but I tried um please like and subscribe and please continue watching and I love you guys so 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 much